and that's how it began. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and if you guys have been following me for quite some time you guys know that I have a couple roommates and when you live with a couple car guys a little friendly competition slash rivalry starts to build and you guys just want to see who's got the biggest piece on a large scale. I know my cars aren't that fast you know I know there's people out there that are making 3,000 plus horsepower like I don't know why you would need that but I also never thought that I would modify my car so I'm sure at one point I'll want that. That being said, nobody says they'll put bust lengths on my car and then doesn't race. So I kept heckling Nate for the longest time, just friendly little heckles like, oh, you know, I see you're driving your car that's not registered, little stuff like that, until he eventually got it registered and he was able to go out there and legally have some fun. The time had finally come and we were going to see which car was faster. And let me go show you guys what he's bringing to the table and then I'll show you guys, if you're new to my channel, what I got. This right here is my competition. This is Nate's Shelby GT500. He has the Shelby 1000 wide body kit. He has weld wheels, 17 inch 305s, nice tire setup. Underneath the hood, he is sporting a Kenny Bell Mammoth kit with a built 5.8. And right now it's laying around a thousand wheel horsepower. This is my favorite Mustang generation and my favorite GT500 generation. So there's no doubt that it's a great looking car. It's also one of the best looking Mustangs that I've ever seen. He also has a set of cams as well as an E85 fuel system. So this car is ready to go. Now let's see what he has to race. Quick shout out to California car cover guys. If you're looking to protect your car's paint, get a car cover. It's the smartest thing you can do. Anyways, let me go ahead and quickly uncover this and show you guys what we have. The car cover had been on for a couple days and my paint still looks like I just washed it. So if you're new to my channel, this is what I got. I have a built 5.2 Gen 3 Coyote. You guys might be thinking, Drew, they don't come 5.2. It's a 5.2 block from a GT350 with the Gen 3 crank and forged internals, pretty much. So take a block from a GT350, throw the forged internals in from a Gen 3, and this is what you get. I don't have any head work. We're on stock cams and stuff like that. We don't need that. But we do have a nice 3-liter Whipple supercharger on top, making 14 pounds of boost, and I'm pretty much maxed out for this current setup. Not power-wise, but I don't have enough pulley. I don't have enough ribs and I don't have enough fuel. So right now this car is making 920 wheel horsepower. Compared to Nate's, it does make a little less. I have a little bit less displacement, but I think I'm a little lighter. Not much, but a little. Taking a quick look at the McLaren, we have a full bolt-on E85 with a custom Voodoo Autosport exhaust. Like I said, tuned on E85 from M Engineering on a set of MV Forge wheels with Dimag carbon fiber barrel. So weight is definitely in this car's favor. This car by far weighs the least. I think it probably weighs on average 500 to 1,000 pounds lighter than both of the cars. That being said, the McLaren also makes the least amount of power. It hasn't been on a dyno, but other McLarens with the same tune make anywhere between 680 to maybe 700 wheels. So we're looking at a max of 700 wheel horsepower. It is still on stock turbos after all, so there's not much more we can do without upgrading to some pure 900 turbos and turning up the boost. I still think it's a really great matchup because we have really light car, decent horsepower. Then we have two heavy ass cars with a lot of horsepower. And which one is going to be the king of all three? I don't know. I know my Mustang does beat my McLaren. And since then we have done springs, wider tires, new lighter brakes. So I think the Mustang is going to absolutely destroy the McLaren. But will Nate's GT500 be able to hang and or beat me? We're gonna find out. The sun is going down. We are going to wait obviously till late at night cruise down to Mexico, have some fun. It is just a nice little friendly little competition. Nothing toxic like that. We're still roommates at the end of the day, so don't go and like throw shade if he wins or if he loses. Don't, don't do that. That's not who we are. We either win like men or we lose like men. Nothing in between. Let's go see the outcome.
right, so we just got to the second location and the Mustang performed really well. I am super happy with the tire setup and the brake setup on this thing. It's just launching like an absolute monster. The weight in the back is really helping a lot. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how much the weight is helping. Now, Nate did have a little boo-boo. One of his exhaust cutouts blew out. So uh, hopefully his car is okay. I think he just needs to bolt it back in and then he's good. Um, I haven't seen the McLaren footage yet. So I will throw my input in on that right here. All right, so now we'll take a second to take a look at the McLaren footage. I haven't seen it up until this moment. But if we look at the very first race, you will see that the McLaren is starting behind and the McLaren also can't hear the honks. Eric was saying that he couldn't hear him. I am the one honking, which is two cars away, so I don't doubt it. So pretty much we're both getting a jump on him. And as you'll see, the McLaren is slowly reeling in Nate on this one. Doesn't quite pass him. It chases a race. If you want to give that one to Nate, go ahead. But it does reel him in, and they end up pretty much neck and neck on that race. On the second run, a lot more fair. Started dead fucking even. And, um, yeah. Just, uh, yep, yeah, keep going. And now we're racing my Mustang, and my Mustang just pulls away. Now, I've made this little uh, graph to show distance relative to camera. So if you'll use my little measuring symbols, that is, in fact, probably about one bus. Thank you. Back to the video. I didn't run this car, um, but I think we know what the outcome would be. I didn't run this car, and I ran this car a few videos back, and we know what the outcome of that is. So overall, I'm really happy with my car. I thought the second gear in the Mustang was going to pull a little bit harder on the McLaren than it actually did. I mean, our top end is just still going and it is helping a lot, but I really thought the second gear was just going to like kill switch the, the McLaren, but um, it's still it's still pulling really good and everything about the car just feels amazing right now. So uh, let's go ahead and get some some talk from Eric and see how his point of view and his stuff was in the McLaren. All right, Eric, I got to ask. Okay. What's going on? How was the McLaren? How is she doing? Phenomenal. And what, were the, what was the outcome? A couple of driver errors on my behalf. Okay. But That's the, fine. You the, know, the, more seat time. We'll get you there. Yeah. Oh, Bro, the, when you got the window down, you're getting your ears fucking blown out by, I don't know, 900 plus horsepower. The baddest bike in town. The baddest bike in town. Did we, did we get a run in? Not no, yet, right? No. Uh, we can do it on the way back. Hey, we can see. get you with the gear. That dude. rematch? I think hey, so, too. Hey, dude, the wheelie control, for sure, in two works. I'm hitting it. I can feel the flow and come right back down. So I'm cracking it all the way now. Well, yeah. Well, so the last time we raced, I was like try hard, extra gutted, you know, going yeah. sweaty the whole nine yards. Um, yeah, now we have the extra weight in the back, but I still think with your gearing, I think you're gonna pop out on me. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. That I top mean, end is scary. And then we can compare that to an R1 from the other night, and then uh, I guess we'll see. But McLaren, out of how many runs did you get him? How many, how many times did you run it? I think, shit, maybe four times. Four five, runs? Maybe five, but a couple of those weren't clean. I missed a shift on at least one of them. Yeah. Um, How you missed a shift in an automatic because car? I'm trying to go for the window switch. <laughs> hey, hit which the wrong is, paddle, which dog. Is, yeah, which I downshifted at 9K. The, the window switch to go up is out of your, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. You, for the you have to like T-Rex arm I, I come it. come up with this hit. shit. No, no it, like, it is bad. It is, no, yeah. it's really bad. And things are happening in milliseconds, so when you go to do that and you're trying to shift it, that's what happens. But anyway, we got a couple good runs in. No, it won't in that car. It'll bounce off of it 100%. So, well, I mean, that's good. Um, yeah, I thought our runs, I thought I was going to jump out on you gnarly in second gear, but it, I didn't see the pull on it that hard, yeah. How do I so, this shit? I don't know. We'll, we'll get a couple more on the way home. We'll try first gears. No. Shit. The shit. I, I know I you think said so. traction control we'll on, but got. I'm on the wrong hits, side, though. It's still, it, well, it, 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 it literally it bounces right and then comes back. Know, no, so it I could tried still to shift it, yeah. when it bounced, and then I tried to shift when it came back and then stayed in it. So it's hard to tell which it, one It is, yeah. So it does zing it, so. Fuck yeah. Is your car okay? Uh, I think so. So we're still gonna run it. Okay. But the fold, the flap there is still there, so okay. I just need to bolt it together. Fuck, so dude, does anyone have a jack? Hey, Alex, you got a jack? Yeah, I keep one in my bike. Hey, what's up? One of these stock cars has to have a jack. Oh, the man himself. What's up? Freshly what's going trimmed. on? Freshly trimmed, Damn, all right? look at you. You look like five years younger right now. Did you now. get a new camera set up? I've had this for a couple nights. Well, for like a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, is that I Will's? It's the same as you guys. Yeah, I copied you guys. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way, baby. How'd it go? Pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Blue, I mean, wait, Jesus. We'll give me, we'll give me the rundown. Yeah, I wasn't cruising around. Uh, we'll give me the rundown. So it's like top end, low end, different outcomes, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Let's yeah, run. Let's run. So fun though. Oh, very fun. Yeah. Oh uh, man. Is the one gonna play? I don't know. She has to take off at like 11. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what time we're taking well, off. If it doesn't line up, it doesn't line up. It's not big. It game. might. So. I don't know. She's fucking nuts. We're mobbing over here, like fucking hustling. So. Who knows? Who knows? We might. We we'll might. See. We brought a 900, what is it, 900 wheel, I think? 
or something like something that. Something like that. Whipple supercharged. Right? Yeah, that's fucking silly. Crazy. Silly. So we'll see what goes on. I don't know. What's going on? It's a lot of fun in the air. I don't know. Uh, we got grandma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got grandma, dude. Grandma's getting dropped off. Yeah, that's that's it. It thinks loud as fuck, dude. Time. The whole time it's just blowing off like everyone's ears and shit. It's loud. Dude, it was going deaf I remember. In there. No, I remember. Yeah. So when they raced, I was there, and I just remember like I was spotting for you guys, but I remember you took off passing at one point, and I was like. Dude, it rings. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. No, it, it, it rings here. Gummy loud. 100%. Yeah. So on the way back, we'll get a couple more runs in with Nate, and we'll see how his car does. Um, we'll try to get the bike a little rematch. He re-geared his stuff, so he might actually take me. Now his car isn't going to go, like, you know, 190 miles an hour, but he's going to get to his end gear a lot faster. So that should be a fun run. Um, we could try Alex, just because I know you guys love hearing turbo noises, so we could try Alex's car. If you guys haven't seen this bad boy, I mean, you guys have seen it a million times, but yeah, we could try Alex. We'll see how his car does, but um, yeah, we'll get more runs in with Nate and we'll see how that goes. But according to Eric, McLaren got him pretty much every time. So we'll have to see. I have to still check the footage, but um, maybe we could play around with this and then the other two as well if they're down. My whole car was like vibrating. They ain't even moving. Uh, they're moving. You be dude. saying that they. Dude, you should see where your shit squats in, dude. That it shit ain't is. moving. I thought you were pulling. Like you got some rely on the way. You got some dents in there from that shit bouncing, dude. dude. No, no way. <laughs> that shit is solid. Yeah. So we got the the forty five pounder. If you wear that, I bet you I'll still beat you. Nah, you ain't gonna beat me with that shit. That shit's <laughs> fucking heavy. Do ten jumping jacks in that thing, and you'll be fucking done. I don't even like a jump um, with that bitch. Honestly. Yeah, no, that's. I like that better because they're adjustable. You know, sandbags. And what if the sandbag opens? Open it. So you see, like, if a cop gets me, bro, I'm just going to work out. I'm on my way to the gym, you know? Yeah, say you're buying a beach and you're taking sand with you. Huh? <laughs> I'm buying a beach. <laughs> Dude, I need a, a belt set up like that. That's the belt I need. That is a nice belt set up. He also has, like, a nice little duct for the... See that? Take, yeah. All right, big boy, what's your excuse now, boy? You know I won that one. <laughs> you know I won that one. that win today, baby. Honestly, if we were doing a set speed, like if we were like, hey, let's do 40 to 140, you would win. Yeah. I think so. So. I just, yeah, to, I just got to dump my girl. To 190, <laughs> yeah, he wins. But like, <laughs> to stop, 190, we stop at a normal speed, like 175. <laughs> I take those dumps. All right, all right. <laughs> the gearing, the gearing is noticeable because before, when I would hook. I would just already start kind of pulling away. Yeah. yeah, but now you're like fucking there, neck and neck. I mean, it's not like by any means it's slow, you know? Yeah, no. It's, it's just not an FZ09. It's, <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> For sale. I look over and there's a fucking car next to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I don't know how how often that'll be, but. <laughs> it's not very often. Not very often. I can tell you from experience, dog. It's not very often. <laughs> so, no, that's good. Yeah, you just need to throw some nitrous on this thing. Dude, if, I, if Eric sells me his forge wheels, game over. You think that'll make a big difference? Oh, How much they, lighter are they? The rotating, the road, the centrifugal. Oh, yeah, no, I know about all that, yeah. The centrifugal. I just gave him three fingers. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> if Eric wants to go slower one day, then yeah. That'll be the move. 
All right guys, we're back at my place now and I don't know if you guys were expecting that. Be honest down below, who did you guys root for? Who did you guys think was going to carry the trophy at the end? I need to know. But at the end of the day, we're talking about three really fast cars. Some cars have slight disadvantages, other cars have slight advantages, but at the end of the day, very similar cars, very similar horsepower, fucking same chassis at the end of the day. So it doesn't get any better than that. We'll have to see when Nate goes ahead and tosses in some 373 gears. I know he's been waiting to do that. Um, and then also I'm gonna decide between modding the McLaren and the Mustang. Let me know, what should I turn up the power on? The Mustang would require a fuel system and a 10 rib setup. The McLaren would just require some turbos, fuel rail, larger heat exchanger, little stuff like that. Both of them though have a lot more potential, so which one should I spend my money on? Anyways guys, if you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Guys, go check out Nate's channel. I will link it down below. Like I said, nothing toxic, nothing like that. It was all just for fun, but now we know which car is faster. Things do change though. That's the whole thing about building cars is, it at one point might be different than it in a couple months. So we'll have to see and we'll come back to this topic once we both have dumped a little bit more money into our cars. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys this episode. If you did enjoy it, let me know. Subscribe to see more videos like this one and until next video, peace.